We have reiterated many times over the last decade the determination to be a very good undergraduate department. We want to model the process of being a scientist by getting the students into the lab, engaging them in our research in a meaningful way, and having them learn to do that. I already have three students, a senior, about to graduate now, but I do have a freshman this year and a sophomore. So they are really interested and I was impressed because my field is non-nuclear physics and uh, it's, I'm very pleased to see when the students are also interested in this kind of more fundamental research than more applied. Nick has, uh, from, from the start, uh, about two and a half years ago, he came to uh, work in the lab. He wanted to do some research with me, and uh, he has, for the past two and a half years, worked in the lab very productively. Um, he's shown an interest to also be a teaching assistant um, and a grader, and because I trusted him, I invited him to join. It's been a lot of fun. I like working in uh, the lab with Dr. Paitosa. Um, I feel, he, especially here at JMU, I get a lot of leeway in what I do in the lab. And as a TA, I, kinda, I, I enjoy the experience. I think that uh, teaching was an experience that, I, or a job I was interested in, an occupation I, I might have been interested in. So it was an interesting, it is an interesting experience to be able to get my hands, uh, I guess, dirty in the sense of being able to actually get in here and help people with physics. Our students are viewed by our faculty as colleagues. They may be less experienced, but that doesn't mean that they're not smarter. I've worked with lots of students that are smarter than I am. I just happen to have done it before, and so I know more about what's going on. Other universities, you can't really do research as an undergrad. So if they want to do research, they're kind of stuck doing paperwork for a professor. Here, my freshman year, I think my second month, I went to Dr. Scarrell, my current research advisor. And I just emailed her and said, I'm interested in what you're doing here, could I join you? And she said, sure, of course. And within a week, I was in the lab doing stuff. At any other university, that would not be possible. There's, there's all kinds of outreach going on here, and we see that as an integral part of the teaching that we do. Our teaching doesn't stop at the classroom door, it doesn't stop at the laboratory door, it extends out into the community well beyond the university. Our mission is science education and public outreach, and so we serve actually many different diverse communities. The John C. Wells Planetarium at James Madison University is one of only four like it in the entire world. We're a hybrid facility, which means not only do we have the ability to show full dome video on the dome in high definition and 5-1 surround sound, we have a star ball that we can raise afterwards and show you an authentic nighttime sky. The stars you see in the dome with our star ball give you a real accurate depiction of what the nighttime sky would look like should you go outside later that night. I've seen a lot of planetaria around the country. To me, I have yet to find another planetarium that has undergraduates involved to the extent that JMU has. As I said, this is a one and a half million dollar facility. There are only three other planetariums in the world like it. Yet, on Saturday afternoons, it's not me giving shows, it's our students. We're the student operators, so for weekend shows, we're the ones that come in, we turn on the planetarium, we play the movie, we bring up the star ball, and then we give the talk. We talk about constellations and planets and things that we can see in the sky. And so that's our job here. It's an awesome job. I can't, I'm so excited to be able to tell everybody in the future, like, I had this really great job in college. Like, no, I mean, there's, what, 10 of us that work here? And I don't think that anybody else could ever say that their yeah. job is as cool as ours. No matter what they want to do, the fact that they've been involved in research, it, it widens their opportunities really the basics of a lot of fields and they can jump into any other field they would like to go into. Once somebody gets on campus here, we kind of have them. You know, it's just a very nice place to be. The department is, we, we can show them things that are really special that they, they would get a chance to do as, as physics majors here. And, you know, seeing it is different than hearing about it. You know, they, they get here and they actually walk through the labs and, and see that atomic force microscope and think, wow, you know, I could be like that, that young woman over there that's using it right now, three years from now. And that makes a difference in terms of recruiting. 
All sorts of people have come in and talked to us about ways that you can take a physics degree and make your career go in different directions. And we're trying to expose our students not just to wonderful science that people are doing, but also to career options and give them choices.